Okay, today we are going to figure out how to assemble a starfinder. This is a starfinder. <clears throat> it's used to help you see stars in the sky at night and to recognize which stars they are. This is uh, a device that was originally made at the Pacific Science Center and you can download it from this location, tiny URL Schatz Starfinder. It was originally developed by a man named Dennis Schatz. And there are two parts to it, which are made of file folders. There's an inner disk that has the stars on it, and there's a simple side and a complex side. We usually start off learning on the simple side, and then as we learn more, we move to the complex, complex side. Around the edges, you'll see there are times and dates. There is also a hollow piece of file folder that holds the Starfinder wheel. The hollow piece of, file, of um, file folder is marked south, west, north, and east, and it has times along the top. To use it, for instance, this is July, early July, let's say July 6th. To use it, what you do is you find July 6th here, and you put it to when you're going out to see the stars. Let's suppose I go out tonight at 11 o'clock to go look for stars. I rotate the inner wheel to line up with the number, oh, uh, sorry, 11. Or, I'm sorry, that's 6. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I line the 11 p.m. to line up with the 6th of June. I need July. Sixth of July, eleven p.m. We'll put it down so that it's properly in the thing, and it shows me roughly what stars I can expect to see. I should be able to see the Little Dipper if it's dark enough. I won't be able to see. Oh no, I will. Here's the Big Dipper. Should be in the west. That'll be the direction that the sun set in. On the opposite side of the Big Dipper, there should be a W, Cassiopeia, and straight up. And this is true for most of the summer. Straight up, there will be a bright triangle, which will be this star, this star, and this star. It's called the summer triangle. And that's kind of the constellations that you would go to look for in, uh, in July. Notice there will also be this little corona, um, borealis, a little uh, crown. Hercules might be up. And booties, which kind of looks like a big club, will be up. And in the Summer Triangle, one of the things will give us a big northern cross. That's actually a swan with wings outstretched. So those will be things we can see. In the very south, when we go out, we might be able to see the teapot of Sagittarius. Now that's if we go out at 11 in July. Let's suppose we went out in 11 in January, in the middle of the winter. We can turn this thing around. It's the 6th of January. At 11 p.m., we look at our stars again. Notice we don't see this teapot of Sagittarius anymore. And we don't see the Summer Triangle. The Summer Triangle is below the horizon. This is the only part you can see. But high in the sky, you will see Orion. Orion is called a winter constellation because we see it in the winter. Anyway, so uh, we do see Cassiopeia in the Big Dipper uh, and a constellation called uh, Andromeda and maybe the um, big dog, Canis Major. So this is our star finder. Simple constellations, complicated constellations, and the star finder. So let's build it. The way you build it is you go and you download pages for it. The first page looks like this. That's the cover, the complicated wheel, and the simple wheel. You will need all of those. We start off using an old file folder. This is an old one. It's no longer used. And basically what we want it for is we want to use it to make the holder for the disks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut with scissors these two edges.
one edge, and we'll cut the other edge. Now we're going to glue this to the file folder such that when it opens up this bottom edge, so when we open it up like a book, that bottom edge will be down there. So it will open like this. So we take our glue stick, You want to get lots of glue on it, so it glues down really well. Especially the parts that are black. The center part we're going to cut out afterwards. This first part we're going to do it, and I'm doing it on top of this because that's where the glue can be safely. If you miss it, it's okay. So now we take this and try and line it up as best we can with the edges. Oops. And that's pretty well lined up. I can come down a little bit there. So now it's glued down and opens up. Now we are going to cut out this part. And now we have a star finder with a pocket to put the wheel in. Now, in this case, looks like I missed a little blue up here. So we'll give it a little extra glue to get the spot I missed. And now we have to cut out this part. So to cut out this part is kind of hard. You can use a sharp pair of scissors and punch through the hole, like so. That works. That's one way of starting it. Another way of starting it is to get a box. You can get an old box put the star wheel down on it, and take a knife. You point the knife away from you, and you can cut a hole in it that way to get the scissors started. So those are both ways to get the scissors started. But once you've got the scissors started, you have to cut out the center. Of course, the fussy cut is the last one, always. And what we're cutting here is a window to look at the discs which we will make next. Oops.
And now we have our star finder with a window. Now, the star finder needs to hold the disk in there, so it's going to need a staple here and a staple here and a staple there eventually. So this is really easy if you have a stapler. If you have a stapler, they just punch them in and get them approximately where it says to put them. I like to put them outside to leave a little extra room to move the disc around. Now, let's suppose you don't have a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you can use one of these things. This is called a paper fastener. Or a brad. Now, in order to get the bread in to the paper, you must punch a hole in it again with a knife. So you could ask your parents to help you, for instance, with this. But you take the knife, find the blade, point the blade away from you, put it down in the center of the staple hole, give it a little punch. Now, you can put the brad through. So the brad would go through, and on the back side, you could then fold it flat. In this case, a little bit of the brad is sticking out there, so you could fold it up again and around. Like that. So either staples or brads will work. Now we need to work on our disc. So to do our disc, we start off with, I like to start off with a complicated field first. What the heck, it doesn't matter. And another file folder. So again, we're going to glue the star field to the file folder. with the glue stick. And now you have to cut it up again. You want to cut as close to the line as you can. So we now have a one-sided disc, and we need our simple field sheet. So our simple field sheet will go on this, so there'll be one of each. So the first thing I'm going to do is, the first, is I'm first going to cut up the sheet of this one.
And now again, we're going to glue these two together. Now to help keep glue off the table, I'm actually going to use this as well. And now I try to put this at the back of that. Oh, well, we don't like the way that started. And you do have a limited ability to slide it around. So now we have two discs, or one disc with two sides which can go inside our Starfinder. Thank you for watching.